three things you need to know about this video. One, Lieselotte is getting a major upgrade. Two, I am finally finishing my DJ booth. And three, this video is sponsored by Brilliant, but more about them later. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> oh no. Notfall! Notfall! Notfall? Janines Schreibtisch ist kaputt. Was? Aber der tut was, warte mal. Ja, der geht nur runter, aber nicht hoch. Ah, Mac, jetzt nicht. Mann! Das ist das beste Intro, was wir jemals hatten. Ja? Ja, Janine. Aber wenn du dich so, dann ist ja wie ein <lacht> Nothing is burned. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. Hä? Äh, wieso denn? I think Janine can sit down on the floor. Uh, Okay. Gut? Sehr gut. Ja? ja. Wir gehen zur Baustelle, ne? Ciao. Warte noch mal kurz. Felix! Hä? Augen zu. Was habt ihr da? Okay. Close your eyes. Ja. Warte, ich. I will unpack it for you. Okay. Open. Oh! Ah. Yay! <lacht> uh. It is a big week for House Lieselotte because she's getting a new roof this week. I actually plan to do that next spring, but since the weather is still so warm and dry, the roofing company was like, we could do it this week. And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> it's one of the biggest jobs. Also one of the jobs that I cannot do myself or I don't want to do it myself. And I cannot do it myself. <laughs> so this is like a huge thing. It will be so quick. Hopefully they'll be done within a week and the house will have a new roof. Is everything right with your knee? I think I maybe uh, overworked it a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I will try to take it slow the next couple of days. It's definitely, it's getting a little worse, but I think it will be fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, I will not be at the house too much in the next couple of days. All right. It's crazy how fast they are. They started yesterday and when I came here around noon, the whole entire roof was open. And this is going to be a window. I'm very excited about this one. This is the bathroom window, so I thought it would be nice to have the possibility to air it out and have a lot of light. And in the bedroom, there will be a smaller window right here, just like the one that we have in the hallway. So the small ones are obviously cheaper because the window is smaller, and also you don't have to change this whole structure. So altogether it's smaller, and this is where I saved a little money. It would have been nice to have huge windows everywhere, but I decided one big one in the bathroom and then those two, two ones in the hallway in the bedroom. Remember how excited we were about the bathtub? Sure. <laughs> Different times, right? It was a good day. I'm happy especially because we found this diamond, this beautiful bathtub. We will keep this for sure. It's exactly what I wanted. I'm still excited about it though. Absolutely. It will be so nice with a big window and the bathtub so underneath great. this. Oh, I could use this right now. No, you can't. It's full <laughs> of shit. <laughs> So 
So this is one of the jobs where I knew right from the beginning I will not even attempt to do this myself. Especially so close to winter and to rain, it's just so important that the roof gets closed down quick. And there are six or seven people working on this, so they can move that fast. If I wanted to do this by myself, the roof would be open for weeks. And also, don't mess with the roof if you don't know what you're doing. This is so important that everything is watertight and I'm just happy to source this out and pay for professionals who get this done. And I can rely on their expertise to just do it right and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so they took all the old stuff down. Then they put this black foil. So this is diffusion open, which means rain and wind cannot come inside from the outside, but moisture, all that stuff can come outside from the inside. So it only works in one direction and that's what makes this so efficient. And there are these glue strips, so you can lay down the layers, glue them on top, oh, wrong Ooh, way. Cool. Yeah, glue them on top of each other and that makes a very, very waterproof, but diffusion open bottom layer, basically. And then on top of this, comes this wood fiber insulation board. It's a very ecological way to insulate your roof. And they just lay this on top. And as you can see, this is pretty cool. Like you can see how they lay there. Yeah. They're just, it's just very, very tight. And it's so important to have a good insulation on the roof because 70% of the heat escapes over the roof. So the walls are only 30%. The most loss of heat is over the roof and that's why I made it a priority to just do it right. This is eight centimeters of insulation. Should be good. While there is magnificent teamwork on the roof, we also have another team working on the bricks and that is Marius, Paul, Joka and Leonie. They are helping me this week to finish the walls. Probably won't get it done, but at least make some substantial progress while I'm resting my knee a little bit. Okay, you want to see the new updates? Oh yes. All right, where did we leave off? Oh, first of all, so this is black now. It was plywood before, now it's black. Um, oh, you haven't seen the best thing yet. Hold on, let me power everything. Is the light on? Light is on. Yeah! <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably my favorite feature. And the thing is, so the fog machine is inside. And I was thinking if you have to recharge the fluid during the party, you would have to take up the whole, take off the whole setup. So I have my little tool toolbox here, a Leatherman. Oops. And you can open this up and reach the fog machine and recharge it while you're operating the whole thing. Perfect. Okay, let's close it. Nice. Okay, the cable management for the laptop is soft. Check this out. So they're not in the way. There are just two holes that fit perfectly the holes of the tray. And then you have all the cables connected. Those things right here. I mm -hmm. think they came out pretty nice. It's also on the other side. Made from this tray. Perfect. Perfect, right? Okay. It's also the perfect size. It's just big enough. Just barely big enough. Ah, oh, so good. Then, very important, this lamp has a switch now. And, of course, a microphone. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's 90% done. I would like to do two more things. One is storage for all the cables. So we have everything in one place. Second thing is I still need to do the audio connection on this side. So just wire it up so we can hook up the speakers to the outside of the box. And then I think it's done. Nice. 20 minutes. Party time. <laughs> 20 minutes. No. <laughs> I'm guessing two hours and we're done. Okay. Yeah? Party time. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Du hast dich gar nicht gewundert, oder? Nee. Ich habe mich gefragt, wo ist der jetzt schon wieder? Ist das lustig, ey. Hast du das Gefühl? Ja. <lacht> What was your idea? So the idea was to have a to have a drawer like this. So you have all the cables that you need in one drawer. But the thing is, quite honestly, the thing I did in the front is not my favorite look. I don't regret it because I think the functionality is great, but the look could be better. And I don't want to repeat this feature of having aluminum and this cutout that has a little gap. I think it would be better if the drawer was wood. Maybe a wooden, I have a wooden drawer. Ah, looks nice. No? Yeah. Might be too big though. Oh! Perfect. <laughs> you see how this fits with this bracket? That's a perfect fit. Okay, I think the decision is made. And maybe the system is a little bit like this one, where you have the cutout a little bigger on top, so you can only pull it out if yeah. you lift it. Why not? It's good.
Ja, mega. Ja. Perfekt. Nice cable management, by the way. Thank you. Power and sound. Okay. This is just a little test box. Power. Oh, so, oh, nice. so good. Nice. And now, God, I'm so excited. Okay. You think it will work? I hope so. Yeah, me too. Power is on. Nice. Yes. I know that every day is a fight. Okay, louder. I know that you never will leave. And anything that is well. And I love you. I'm alive. Trust me. So geil aus. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever built. Oh <laughs> normal. I can't wait to use it. I hope my friend likes it. She will probably be a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't de-abonnate. Don't de-abonnate. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I am enjoying my new sound setup. Still looking for a name. And I will see you next week with a new video. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Before you go, one more thing I wanted to tell you about this week's sponsor, Brilliant. You probably know this about me. I am so bad at math, which is weird because building stuff means calculating a lot of things, uh, measuring all the time. And I'm so bad at it that I have all these workarounds so I can avoid math. So I think I basically use 80% of my brain capacity so I don't have to use my brain capacity. And that's why I was pretty excited when Brilliant reached out, because Brilliant is a hands-on way to learn about math, science, and computer science, and all these things that I know nothing about. So what I like about Brilliant is that it's not like school, which I didn't like, where you have to sit down for hours and hours and hours and learn about things. It's more like you do a little bit every day, and that adds up to actually make a difference. So. Right now this class, calculating area, it's very crucial to what I do. Let's take the lesson. It's, it's over really quick, but it's fun. So what do I need to do? Is there more yellow or more white? I'm guessing they're equal. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so I guessed it correctly, but the cool thing about Brilliant is that they actually explain to you why your answer was, was right. So. Yeah, it does have an impact. So Brilliant has thousands of lessons like this and they add new content every month. Right now I'm into this geometry stuff. It's pretty basic. The next class I wanna to move to is scientific thinking. I'm excited what they have in stock for me there. So Brilliant is not only about learning math, it kinda helps you to become a better problem solver in general. I really enjoy it. To get started for free, visit brilliant.org slash Laura. The first 200 of you will get a 20% discount off of Brilliant's annual premium subscription. 
One trick though that I will still use, even though I will be a math pro in the future, is when I measure something and I don't know how to divide it by two, sometimes that's tricky for me. That's how bad I am at math. I just simply fold over the tape measure and read what it says here. No math at all, still a cool trick, still like brilliant. <laughs>